All right, Mina, what we got today right here? What we have today is 3D hologram display fan. It plays 512p HD videos for shops, office, home, any type of business and entertainment. You can add your own logo on this. That's you amazing. Can add, yes, you can add your own advertisement. Your own brand. But I, I'm going to show you how the whole thing works. It's amazing technology. This one has, uh, how many LED has? Uh, 256 LED. And I'll show you how the technology works in a second. All right, so let's turn the lights on. So we are back. What do you think, Menina? It looks beautiful, right? It looks amazing. Way better than expected. Yeah, so this is the device we can see. It's covered with plastic, so no problems with your fingers when the fan rotates. Now, let me turn it on. And by the way, it runs a battery. So it runs a battery, or you can plug it a transformer at 100 to 240. So that's perfect too, but right now it's running out of battery. Now, I just load up my own graphic. You know why Menina shows that way? The yes, camera. I know. It's because the three hologram is changing frames at a different rate than yes. the camera. And our camera is catching the split second of the frame change. Yes, very important, right? In real life, you will not see that. It's just the no. same when you record a, try to record a, a movie around the TV, you see the frame, it's exactly the same. And, but personally, if you see this, it looks wonderful. So we see how that works. It rotates, it has all the LEDs, and I put my own animation. I will show you how to use the software. It's pretty simple. Now, you can put your own pictures. This is perfect for the business, right, Menina? And Absolutely, yes. You can put it at your store window or your countertop. It's also very original yes. decoration for your home. Yeah, so let's just put the family picture. So let me show you what we get here. I'm going to change cameras. And the remote control. So you can turn it off, turn it on, and change different modes. If you want to loop always to the same graphic, we can do that too. The mountain bracket for the wall. Now, the instructions, they are pretty simple instructions. Now, the thumb drive, so you put your micro SD memory right over here so you can load your pictures right on the computer. And the anchors and the screws. Now, this is the perfect way to mount it right on the Canon tab or in your windows. And it's pretty simple to mount. Just like a picture frame, which is push this up this way, as you see right here. And now, guys can see the device now this one we're going to be mounted right on the wall and then we go this way and it's done now we see right over here is the power come in and it runs as a battery it's off right now and we can see how the whole thing works and this is led lights i'm going to turn it on as you see in the beginning of the video it will start rotating we'll start eh? Real nice technology, and as we see right there, we will just load it up. I will shut out the light later on so you guys can see better. Now, how we load, how we load the memory here. So let me show you. Let's put this here. All right. We're gonna wait until this slows down. Make sure when you do this, it power this off. And we see here the little window. All right, so open the little window right there. And if we pick inside here, oh, goes back again, do that again. So if we pick right there, we're gonna move this around, keep moving around until you find the memory. Can we see the memory right there? Push down and push up and take the memory out. Now here comes with the software and the graphics you saw in the beginning demo. Then you plug it right over here if you don't have one of the thumb drive and it's done. When you finish, you're gonna put it back again. So the part of the chip goes to the front. So we are back over here, as we see right there. We hold it and we press it down until you feel like clicks and it goes up again. So down and if you feel you you feel like you click and then let it go. Make sure it clicks. You're done. Make sure you close here and you're done. So now you load your own graphics, uh, your own animation, and that's a perfect catchy uh, for your business. You put it around the window, and people will stop by and see this great uh, graphics. Now, the nice thing too is real bright. It's real bright, it's bright light. Yes. It's real bright light, you know. 
for me, we shut down the studio lights, we can see because the camera effect, but no matter how much light you have right over here, we have all this light, and for us, it looks wonderful. We know we're going to go, this one is going to go and in right fact, in the I living see room. It, yeah, yes. in fact, I see it as an investment if you have a store, because if we got people's eyes. That's, that's so very important. they will see it doesn't matter what. All right. So let me show you the graphic we are right now. I'm gonna shut the lights in the next section right away to show you how you set up your own your own graphics. All right, so let's begin. And now what we did, which is load up our own graphics, and you can do exactly the same thing for your business. This is a regular JPEGs. And the next section, which is load up in a an MPEG animation. So you can do exactly the same for your business. You can put as many pictures you want in animation. So on the next section, I'm going to show you how to transfer the files. And by the way, these lines that you see right over here, it will not show you in real time. That's only the camera catching this. All right. And see, this is when you do this type of animation goes, goes wonderful all this stuff. I mean, Nina, yes, you love I that? love it so much. Seriously. Yes. All right. So let's go and let's do some me. editing now. You see right now the root directory. That's your main file. The program is uh, zip it. We need to unzip this. And this is all the demos include on, into the memory. All right. I would recommend to make a copy of the memory just in case. And if you want to load your own logo, right? You want to delete everything. So when we're doing that, we delete everything. We clean. Now we need to copy this into the desktop or somewhere in your computer. By the way, this runs on the Windows uh, computers. There's no Mac version for this. So just copy anywhere and use RNR one zip to extract the files. Now we see some of the files we're gonna be using for the demo. So what I did here, I'm gonna unzip it or extract it automatically. And then we're gonna see the executable there. And again, the structures one more time and we can see the 3D display file right there. It's pretty simple. Load up. And what we need to do is Put it first in English and then set up the 30 centimeters and then open your MPEG. Now the limitation is uh, 60 seconds. So do not try to load any movie more than 60 seconds. All right. So load the animation and preview. Make sure it's, it's fine. You play it and it will play it the way it's going to look into the display. When you're done, you save it. And when they save, it we're going to save it uh, frame by frame. So you need to wait. It can take uh, you know, a few seconds, 15 seconds. So that's done. So now I'm going to save it right into the memory back again and call it whatever you name the name. And now, so as you see, it goes to slow frame by frame. All right. And that's in the memory. When you're done, that's it. Pop it into your um, back into the fan and you're done. Now for picture, this is exactly the same thing. It's not going to play any an animation. Just load any MPEG. Then when you load the MPEG, then you can preview, make sure it looks fine. And you can also modify uh, the picture. I'm going to show you that in a second. You're going to use the wheel. If you have the wheel in your mouse, you can zoom in and zoom out. So you zoom out, make sure. So when you see in the fan, it's going to look uh, the whole thing, not just a small graphic right in the middle. So I'm going to load up a graphic and if you see there, right, you see it's not the center. So you can center out or use the wheel. And if you see there, see, so I'm trying to go over just depend on the graphics you have. When you're done, uh, you save it into the memory back again to the room directory for the fan and you finish. All right. So with this, we complete the tutorial. Thank you very much. Bye.